Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The space shuttle program completed its final mission in 2011, wrapping up a 30-year legacy of accomplishment. Now, NASA is looking at various ways to tell the shuttle story and to make use of the structures that were employed almost exclusively for the space shuttle, such as the shuttle landing facility located at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. One company in particular has come up with a unique opportunity for guests to experience what it was like to be an astronaut on the space shuttle. America Space spoke with the shuttle landing experiences, John Godfrey, about this amazing idea and his company. We have a boat that we stay on down off opposite the Kennedy Space Center. And I was watching the shuttle land one day, sitting on the bow. And I thought to myself, geez, what, what a wonderful thing. But looking at that runway, it's hardly ever used, you know? So I thought to myself, I wonder if it could be used at all. So I started thinking about it, and I had a Cessna 310, so I thought to myself, I wonder if they'd let me use it over there. So I contemplated the idea for a while, and eventually I came up with the, the shuttle landing uh, experience. I contacted the FAA, and uh, there didn't seem to be any problem there. So I contacted NASA, and they were excited about the idea. We had a few meetings, but then security put the st a stop on it. So it was uh, about five years later, I was working in, on my aircraft, and the guy who got the hanger next to me came up and he said, I just flew over the shuttle landing facility. I said, how the heck did you do that? He says, well, they've opened it up. So uh, we jumped in his airplane, we took off, we went over there, we came back, I landed. I hadn't even got out my airplane, I phoned up the FAA, and they were just absolutely super. Within three weeks, I had my license to operate. We decided to uh, try this out for ourselves, but um, we uh, wanted to be uh, safe. So we uh, opted to take the uh, lowest level offered by the uh, shuttle landing experience. Safe. Yeah. Um, the view from the air uh, is nothing short of incredible. You get to uh, pass by uh, the iconic structures out at Kennedy Space Center like the uh, Vehicle Assembly Building. Uh, just an incredible view. Uh, you also get to see the uh, Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex down below in its rocket garden. Uh, this too is just an incredible view as you're passing by. Godfrey even dipped his wings a lot to uh, a bit to uh, give us a good shot of the uh, place. Uh, just amazing. Uh, an incredible view of, uh, of the Visitor Complex. And you get to uh, get a good look at the new uh, Atlantis exhibit, which they're uh, slated to have open sometime at the end of, uh, I believe, next month. Uh, all in all, just an incredible experience. Godfrey went on to explain why there are three uh, separate levels uh, available to the public for the uh, shuttle landing experience. I was thinking about just using my Cessna 310, so I thought we'll just operate the one trip where we go up to about 10,000 feet and then we come down. But over the years, we found that there were different profiles of passengers. What we found is there were three levels that people were, would like to experience. Level one is where we go up to about 3,000 feet and we fly around the local area going over to Kennedy, uh, and wind up going over to Kennedy Space Center and then go down over the runway at 100 feet and then back to Arthur Dunn. The level two is for the average person who, you know, who wants to experience it but doesn't want to be, you know, lose their stomach type of thing. So with that one, we take them up to 10,000 feet and then they come around and then we do the approach to the shuttle landing facility and it gives them an idea of what it's really like. Then we have the, sh the shuttle landing experience level three. With that one, we go up to 15,000 feet and we come down at a 17 degree glide angle, which is about the same as what the shuttle did. You know, we're coming down at close to 15,000 feet a minute. So this, for the enthusiast, gives them a real sense of what it was like. Godfrey feels that his company offers a unique perspective on the space shuttle program and says that the public reaction to his efforts has been extremely positive. 
since the shuttle program ended, the uh, the people have been looking for something, and so it, it appears as though we've filled a void. People have become very excited about this. You know, the, the idea of being a, to go up and to be able to experience what the astronauts experience seems to really excite people. The way that I explain it is that this is the closest you're ever going to get to becoming an astronaut, you know? Even given the fact that this was just a level one, how really close was it? to a space shuttle landing. We'll let you decide that for yourselves. With our mission safely behind us, we uh, touched back down at Arthur Dunn Air Park and uh, talked to Godfrey a little bit further about how well this uh, project has been received as well as his plans for the future. Since we started this, we've had fantastic support from all the local authorities, the airport authority, the, lo the city, Bavard County. Everyone's become right on board with this and it, it's exciting because we find that the people we've taken up have been so exhilarated by it and think that the price is so good that uh, it's just very gratifying to see the, the response that we're getting. For the future, we're, we're getting more aircraft. We've got the two aircraft right now. We're getting uh, an Aerostar 600 and we're also going to be getting a King Air, which we'll, so we'll be able to take up more and more passengers on the different levels. And we're also going to be opening up at different sites. Right now we're out at Arthur Dunn. Level 2 will be opening up at Space Coast Regional. It appears as though there's a good chance we're going to be actually operating for the, from the shuttle landing facility. And eventually we, it looks as though we're going to open up in Kissimmee, because we found that there's a lot of people who go to the attractions over in in Orlando would like to do this, but they don't want to drive all the way to, to Titusville.